Thanks for joining us here on Cron 4 News at 11. I'm Noelle Bello. Our top story tonight, the city of Pacifica is considering more restrictions on Airbnb rentals. Cron 4 Sarah Stinson spoke with hosts who want to keep things as they are and neighbors who are against these short-term rentals. Pacifica has become a popular coastal destination for tourists. Many look on Airbnb or Verbo when selecting a place to stay. Hosts in the area, like Russell Jones, say it's been a great source of income. We have big plans. It's an old house and it's very expensive, but we want to make improvements to it. So we use our Airbnb to generate that money. But some neighbors say living next to an Airbnb is a different story. It has just become a living hell. We've lost the quiet enjoyment of our home. Caitlin Quinn has owned this oceanfront property for seven years. She says ever since a vacation management company bought the house next door, her home life has suffered. We have clocked over being woken up uh, over 50 times. 30 times plus have been between the hours of midnight and 5 a.m. Lila Ranero says the same company bought the home next to hers in 2019. A constant nightmare ever since then, just loud parties, trash, parking issues. Quinn and Ranero are a part of a group called Pacifica Homes Are Not Hotels. The two say they are not against Airbnbs, just ones without a local host. Anytime somebody comes here, there's, there is no host. Um, the phone call, the, the phone number that they give to call um, frequently um, you get a busy signal. Some hosts have also created a group called Pacifica for Responsible Tourism. Many say they've never had any issues. Yeah, I haven't had a single complaint, never had parties. Never had a single complaint. All of our neighbors know us. Both sides packed into the Pacifica City Council meeting Monday night. The council is debating whether to implement caps on Airbnb stays and limiting the number of Airbnbs per neighborhood. Short-term rentals are already capped to 150 properties with permits. Complaints can lead to hosts being non-compliant and losing a permit. Both sides are hoping the city considers their concerns. Through their own research, say, if we just enforced our own laws, we could get rid of the bad actors. And People want, they want their community back. This seems to be far from over. City Council has not made any decision or any vote so far. They're still debating the best way to move forward with short-term rentals and making sure it's a good financial decision for the city. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting in Pacifica, Cron 4 News.